Hi guys, it's Hema, and today's video is, as you guys have already seen on the title, it's my 2015 favorites, and I'm really late with this because it's like halfway through January, but um, it doesn't matter, you know? I mean, there's people still doing what I got for Christmas, so... But before anything, um, I want to give a shout out to one of my friends who just started her YouTube video and she's really great with makeup, like she's really really amazing. Her makeup skills are really cool. Her channel is Samantha Solio and I'll link it down below in my description box. But her makeup skills are really nice and she's just starting off so like it'd be really amazing if you guys could help her out because you'd probably love her makeup skills anyways because she's really good. She's done my makeup too so... Um, but yeah, you should check her out because she's really amazing and she's an amazing person overall, so yeah. So on to my favorites, I'd like to start off with my makeup. Um, Black Friday, I don't know if you guys would count that as like 2015 favorites because I've only been using it for like two months or like a month and a half from 2015, but I've not been a oh well. It's probably my 2016 favorites then because... I still like them, but I'm still going to mention them. So, you guys all know I've been using that eyebrow powder by Italia or whatever. Like, that's all it says on there. I can't read anything else because it's, like, all faded. So, I went into Sephora on Black Friday. Even though I got the original price, I still bought the um, Anastasia Dip Brow. I got it in the color chocolate because that's what the lady said fit me most. And I don't know. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can tell. But... You'll be the judge if it fits me the best or not. But I'd like if you guys could comment down below if you can tell like the difference between my eyebrow and the um, dip brow. Because if you do, that'd be really helpful. You already know my mascara and my eyeliner favorites, but I'm still going to say it just in case you're new to my channel. And uh, my eyeliner favorite is the Maybelline Eye Master Precise by... Or Maybelline Eyeliner by... I Studio Master Precise. It's like a little pen and it's really really long which I really love because it's really easy to use and the wing is really easy to make. So yeah, in case you're looking for something that will make your wing easier, that's what I use and that's what I've been using since like high school so. Um, my mascara that I use is um, Dolly, Doll Wink, Dolly Wink, Doll Eye by um, NYX. And then the other thing that I've been loving that I've actually been wearing like um, the entire well, since July, so that one actually does count like half 2015. The liquid lipstick by Kat Von D in color Lolita. I really really love it. It's amazing and it's matte. I've worn Mac matte lipsticks, like the actual lipstick, and it doesn't look matte at all. It looks really really shiny, so I don't really like that at all. I'm saying it all like a lot, but um, when I tried this and it turned matte, I was so happy. I just thought it was my skin or something that it might have been too oily, so I've been reacting with the makeup or something. But the matte one, um, I mean the cap on the one worked really well, so I'm pretty sure that's not it. Or else I'd be doing that with all my makeup. <sighs> Rothan keeps smoking my tripod. He's right here. But um, yeah. So those are my makeup favorites and um um this is still considered this isn't makeup but it's beauty and the um aromatherapy from bath and body works sleep the um shower gel is really really nice like i love that so much it makes me feel so nice especially I, i'm not really sure if it's just because well since it said sleep i was like i'm just gonna put it on whenever i take a shower at night and it makes your body feel really, really relaxed. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really, really nice. I'd recommend you guys try that. And then for technology, obviously my camera, which I've been using a lot. The Evil Within. That one's a really, really good game, and I really recommend it. It is a bit scary in the beginning because you don't know what to expect, but then you start to realize that it's a video game and it follows, starts following patterns. So you get kind of used to it and it's not as scary. Well, it, that's how I saw it. I was like, oh, well, it's kind of following a pattern. So I picked it up immediately and I stopped being scared after like the fourth chapter, which is really bad because like, there was like only, I think, 12 chapters. No, 
There's more than 12 chapters. I don't remember. I haven't played it in a while. But it's a really, really great game. And it really makes you think. So those are my favorites. And of course, Robin is my favorite all year, every year for my whole life. <laughs> He's really upset. But um, yeah, so those are my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, I guess I hope I um, recommend something that you might have liked. I don't know, like the video games, the makeup, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!